Blazers Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and always this channel fully focused on tips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings. Here you'll get all the necessary data and drills for each and every event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about the basic topic that is very much necessary for all of you as well as it is also a request from one of the subscriber he want to know that how to decide that which hero we are going to use for the offensive and for the defensive purpose guys so our video topic is just right that one only i'm going to try out that how to decide out the gems what to do with the offensive and defensive hero and what are the preparation you should do for each battle before it is going to start guys so let's begin the video without wasting your time so for the first time guys let me tell you that there are different of the sections of the castle that people are holding on first one is the infantry and cavalry based in which you are everything is being focused on the infantry and cavalry stats second prospective is going to be the infantry and archers based on this one the infantry and archer are the main focused on the stats guys and the third one and the very deadly one is the infantry and siege guys yes guys it is something that is new to hear on but really guys siege is really going to be very much deadly the reason of getting a siege uh, pro uh, prospective if we talk about that particular one the reason is that in every formation whether it is infantry cavalry infantry archer or even only infantry formation also many people are using on all the thing the infantry are being common out here guys in the infantry and siege if uh, someone is having castle uh, focused on the infantry plus siege stats guys then he is at the bonus for the infantry right because we know that the siege counters on the infantry uh, troops so that's why it is easy for him to plunder out your particular thing whether it is at any of the battle guys so keep yourself prepared if you are having other formation except infantry and siege but if you are having infantry and the siege you are at the bonus point guys so now let's uh, talk about the next important thing that which formation can be used for this one guys as we talk about the offensive one guys the one thing that you should keep in mind that infantry plus cavalry and infantry plus siege are very much effective for the offensive purpose guys but if you are having infantry and archers guys it is bit low for the offensive purpose but it will perform very well for the defensive one guys because infantry plus archers can easily defeat out a rally or take out the rally or defend the rally from the infantry plus cavalry sections as well as sometimes it can also go with the benefit with the infantry and siege rallies also guys the reason is that archers counters on the siege troops that's why it is at the bonus one and infantry and archers is having counter on the cavalry troops that's why it is on that particular one guys so basically in both the cases infantry plus archers are the best for the defending one guys so i have already crossed out the first section of the our discussion that how which formation we have to use for different of the one guys so my particular recommendation is that you should go with the infantry plus cavalry and infantry plus siege for the offensive one but for the defensive one infantry plus archer formation is going to be very well guys so this is about the basic one now let's move to the another important topic that how to decide out the hero guys basically whatever hero you are going to decide on it is fully dependent on what formation you are using on means if i am using cavalry formation then using a archer hero for the march is nothing useful for me guys it is being obvious for that particular one guys so whenever you are choosing out the hero please try to choose out a hero that can give you the maximum of the benefits like if i am a cavalry base a castle then i will try to go with the particular zhao yun the reason is that it will promote my particular damage in the different sections for the cavalry units that's why i'm having numerous lum uh, number of benefits while using zhao yun as a particular commander for the offensive march guys so it is being obvious at this particular one guys but what you will do if you are having some other one guys basically i have seen many of the one and i myself also used in the another castle in the kingdom 31 out here that is the p6 also uh, at that particular one i am using selma as my particular main hero 
Now I am using Selma because that particular castle is being focused on infantry plus archer stats, guys. Keep that in mind. Infantry plus archers, and we are known. Uh, we also known that. Uh, Selma is best for the infantry purpose guys it is a ca commander focused on the infantry that's why I'm using him uh, her as a commander for the offensive mind because I am getting additional of the damage from the infantry from this particular one as well as it is very well set up or being exhibit da damage including for the in infantry plus archer because other heroes are being focused on the other main like Christina if we talk about the another one uh, uh, you can see out here the dark knight these are the one that doesn't perform well for if i use infantry and archer formation out here guys the reason the main reason about this is that the additional attributes if we talk about the uh, skill attributes the selma is possessing all the particular attributes uh, focused on the infantry only so that's why i'm getting benefit out here guys but if i talk uh, talk about the christina out here the skill is being focused on the cavalry stats so i'm not getting the benefit of infantry plus archer formation that i'm using on so that's why i don't use uh, christina out here at that particular one i'm using the particular selma guys but if you are having cavalry based castle that you can choose any of the two guys the Zhao Yun as well as Christina both are going to perform very very well for the Perklo infantry plus cavalry castles keep that in mind guys if we talk about the infantry plus archers based castle at that Perklo point you can use Selma as well as the Perklo uh, King Arthur guys yes guys King Arthur is very much deadly for that Perklo formation you can go with that, that one also but if you don't have any of those guys you can go with the particular different archer commanders that can be but the damage will be no for this one uh, because they cannot perform they are not the legendary heroes out here but with these one like king arthur these are the legendary heroes and the mythic heroes and they are going to perform very well in the battlefield guys trust me or not now let's move to the next formation that is the infantry plus siege one at that particular point guys you are going to use out the one of the commander that is the uh, warsong master it is very well performance based on the infantry on the siege one and we know that a recent update has given us a new commander that is being known as the uh, cleopatra okay guys this one is also very much useful and being focused on the siege engine and infantry guys if you are a spender you can unlock this one and try to go with that popular one also guys so this is about the different heroes that you have to choose on guys now let me tell you that what you need to focus on whenever you are using any of the heroes the main thing is the gems guys yes guys many people are being confused that what gem you sh we should unlock and being equipped in our heroes guys so for that particular one let me tell you that whenever you are choosing out the gems the three different gems are going to be very much useful the first one is going to be the perklo health guys yes guys blood plays a very important role in the whole battlefield guys so you need to try to get out all the gems that is being regarding the health if i am using infantry plus cavalry i will try to dig out the gems that is being focused on the either infantry health or the cavalry health guys so that is being obvious for you guys okay guys but the second factor that is going to be very much effective is going to be the damage guys yes guys damage gems are very much rare but you can get out if you are able to guys so keep that in mind the second one you have to dig out the damage one whether it is damage deal by the cavalry or damage deal by the infantry for the infantry plus cavalry formation guys and now the countering effect guys yes guys countering effect gem is also very much important means you can increase your if i am having a infantry plus cavalry one so i will go with the uh, increase the effect of countering archer troops guys or in, uh, increase the effect of countering the cavalry troops so these are the gems that is going to give me additional of the damage to the opponents archer or the cavalry troops if i am having that particular one guys so this is the also a gem that you can go on guys many people just go on digging out the gems that is being regarding attack and defense guys so let me tell you guys you can easily grab out the increment in the attack and defense just from the bonus also but these important uh, sectors like the health damage deal basic attack basic defense 
offensive damage offensive damage taken reduction or the defensive damage these are gems that can be rare guys and these are the thing that you cannot easily get from the bonus guys so that's why these gems play a very important role at that particular point i hope that you are getting what i'm trying to say guys if you want to dig out gems try to dig out those gems which are rare and very much helpful for you in the battle don't go with the attack and defense gem because it is very much rare and you can easily get out attack and defense bonus from different of the events guys so keep that in mind guys now if we talk about the next gem that is the basic hp and the basic uh, attack and basic defense guys yes guys these gems are also very much rare but very much effective guys so try to dig out these gems also if you are able to do on and use it out to get out the increment in the basic attack and one guys so guys these are the basic important gems apart from that you can go with the defensive attack defensive defense okay guys these are the also the gems uh, like uh, defensive damage defensive damage taken reduction you can go with this one or you can go with the offensive damage and offensive damage taken reduction also guys so these are the additional gems that you can go on but the main four that i have told in the starting one like the hp the damage the uh, additional damage uh, okay guys like countering effect and the basic attack and defense these are the four important gems that you should have to try out for the best of the best result guys whether it is of any quality you need to go on with that one guys so this is the complete manual about that how you can decide out the hero what are the thing that you can do for the attack what are the formation what are the setup that you can for, go for the attack and defense thing so these are the thing that you should need in mind if you have any query regarding this video or any other video i will try to sort it out please come in the comment section without any hesitation because this channel belongs to you guys only i will try to sort it out as soon as possible and guys this is just a first part out here the subscriber have asked different of the things in the perkla one so i will try to make it in a sequence order first i have started with the perkla formation and hero how to choose it now the next one is going to come out soon guys please show support if you find the video information useful of this perkla video guys please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank you guys